In the inside. Which doctor had shrinkers kit? Spray. Relief. Howdy, folks. Got blood, violence, freaks of nature? Well, then come on down to Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. <laughs> yeah, see the alligator boy. Whenever you rent or buy a video, you need to be sure that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you, there are certificates given to films which tell you broadly what the film is like. This film has been classified 18, which means it's for adults only. An 18 film will certainly have an adult theme and might well contain sexual swear words. The video certificates are there to give you the chance to make an informed choice. They allow you to have peace of mind and be entertained. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the film. Welcome back to The Good, The Bad and The Ugly Show. So today's adventure takes us to the uh, Cambridge Heath Road, London for... The Victor Wynne's Museum of Curiosities, Fine Art and Unnatural History. Indeed. So, um, yeah, right from, the, right from the offset, this place looks very interesting. Um, a weird looking place, uh, definitely some cool stuff in the windows. A weird little sign that says, like, no prostitutes operate here. Which, you know, which is fine. Um, yeah, they're not open yet. They open at um, Could 3 o'clock. Could be disappointing for some, actually. Could be disappointing for some, yeah. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't know what the area is like, particularly. But um, Anyway, uh, it opens at 3 o'clock, so we're a little bit early. Um, and the slot is actually quite small. for Because um, we're taking our daughter with us, so um, the slot there is basically kids have to be out of there by 5 o'clock for when it becomes a proper, like, you know, club, cocktail, bar, that kind of thing. And um, which I'm quite interested in. Uh, in seeking out anyway but um, yeah we're going to go in there and uh, have a look at some weird stuff um, down in the basement yep. so um, so we are here now we're inside the museum um, we're in the basement we're in the museum itself um, there's a weird room that we are kind of like half in at the moment which is uh, I can only call the goat room um, it seems to have like um, what's his name Black Philip. Black Philip, yeah, seems to be sitting here. Um, living life deliciously. Living life deliciously, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's go and have a look around and see what weird shit we can find. So the man himself, but Black Philip. We're kind of in the goat room here, which, as you can see, it's uh, quite full on, isn't it? There's a little party going on. A little party going on. I wonder what's in all those drawers, like in there. There's all these weird drawers with like symbols on them. But that's me and Black Philip, and um, I think there's a picture of you. Uh, yeah, right here. There you yeah. go. We ought, we ought to get a goat selfie. It's just a, that was the thing of the day, really. And uh, yeah, like the weird gold arm in the box in the middle. You don't ask questions, really, I guess. Um, and the, the, the Yard of Ale, which is an old uh, fantastic favourite. And there's lots of like crucifix type stuff, like old um, church like paraphernalia, wasn't there? Yes. Interesting. I always wanted one of those um, kits, the last rites kit, you know, it has the cross with the holy water in it. Oh, yeah. Um, amazing, yeah. Um, some of this stuff, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, absolutely, definitely, really. Let's play fuck off. I like that song. That's pretty good. You first. Yeah. And um, there's, yeah, look at this stuff. Indeed. Yeah. And the toilets, that's the toilet door, isn't it? Well, in fact, the Let's Play Fuck Off sign is from the toilets as well. Yeah. I uh, spent some time in the loo. Uh, yep. be, being a connoisseur of uh, ladies' toilets. That's right. And you got the uh, well, the wedding cake. I mean, it's, it's all very strange, isn't it? A blue baby on top of a sort of cake. Okay. And all this stuff in here, I mean, um, interesting right yeah there's, there's um it's so eclectic and, and so 
strangely catalogued. In fact, I don't even know. I think they just gone and put that there, put that there. I like it though because it, yeah, it's not like it's in any logical order. No, it's this is it. Conceptual. Yeah, it's just weird. You've got a Bib Fortuna, you know, the Star Wars figure in there, and uh, there's lots of um, these are really cool. There's, there's also lots of um, McDonald's toys and stuff, aren't there? Like dotted yes. around the place. Well, um, yeah, because I was looking for places for us to visit and explored yeah. this place and saw uh, that they were doing. He looks like a. Looks like you enjoy it, doesn't he? He does, yeah. 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 Saw the McDonald's toys and the, the reflection for them. Right? Yeah, of course. In the days, this is the good, the bad, the ugly yep, show. That's right. In one shot. What do you think the hanging man's all about? It's very interesting. I mean, it's, it's obviously not a, a real corpse. Mm. You'd be a bit worried, wouldn't you? Um, the lion's chamber, again, it, you know, it also could be a pub. There, there's you taking some pictures, that's right. And uh, this, now didn't you say this was a cake? I did overhear someone saying something about it being cake. I don't that's know amazing. how they've managed to keep it. Keep it Although, actually, we kept our wedding cake for a long time. So we did, until it went through the tin. Yeah. I think it was the fruit acid. So I mean, that thing's <laughs> only going to look cooler the more it uh, decomposes. That's right? true. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, that's absolutely... Where, where would you keep that? I would buy that, I don't know I'd keep it. I guess, you know, you'd need to turn these things into tables and such. Like, these were everywhere. I don't know what they are. There's all these, like, they're like boobs, like, um, breast lights. They definitely lights. look like kind of boobs. Like, yeah. The other ones kind of look more like, a, like eggs. Eggs Insect or grapefruit or something. Which, yeah. Like these puppets reach you out, don't they? Yeah. Don't like them. Yeah. Very strange. <laughs> I don't like their eyes. Yeah, there's more of those lights as well. This and is amazing. Giant crab. I was yeah. absolutely fascinated by that. It's like a mini world. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Terry Pratchett. Yeah. Yeah. Whole... The little chihuahua thing as well, or whatever it is. You know. I was. Yeah. That was. That was yeah. brilliant because it just looked horrifying. Yeah. It. it doesn't like what's going on. Um, the crocodile as well. Like, of stuff like that. We used to have a tiny crocodile stuffed. I mean, my dad, I grew up with this kind of stuff. My, my granny and my dad both had like all this weird shit dotted around, like old stuffed animals and, and weird bits of old art and just strange, bizarre things. So I kind of grew up in this world slightly. Not quite to this extent. I mean, that's, that's a cool thing, isn't it? So a lot of these pictures we're using um, a combination of, of stuff that we both took in there because you took some stuff that I missed and vice versa. Oh, yeah. it's impossible to have seen everything. Yeah. Um, I'm looking through each other's photos. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Oh, Dunn's toys. Unnaturally. Unnaturally. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, the artwork's amazing as well. I love all that. It's just, just fantastic. And uh, fossils and weird like those weird really dead pepper fish. They're like everywhere. The three mice, um, sort of mummified. This is fantastic. There's, there's another slong right there. There's a few of those kind of uh, dotted around, aren't there? Some creepy dolls as well, which I always uh, always like. But yeah, the taxidermy's like unreal, and the amount of weird old. I mean, what is the tiger? Is that like a? Uh, what is that? Oh, I, have, I have no idea. No, it's not like a. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember seeing it. Tiger bones or something, that? yeah. You, well, you miss, because there's such an overload, sensory overload, you, you do miss things. This is its, its own little room, this was kind of in the back, and um, right in the middle there is a table with a real corpse in it. It's a coffin table. Oh, wow, well, I do so remember that. Someone decided at some point that when they die, they want to be like forever so in a table. I like this as well, like conceived. Why would you have that? It's fantastic. That's why I don't remember it, because I was trying yeah, to get a photo of but it. But yeah. It was really hard, the shine. The shine, you can't. You can't quite see it. That's why I put a few bits in, but you can kind of see his face there. So that's, yeah, it's got light inside it as well. I mean, why would you do that? It's an absolutely amazing idea. Like, the ultimate weird thing to have, really. And uh, again, more McDonald's toys, you know, always, always a good thing. I might have a few of these. The obsession is real. It is. Um, fast food toys are very interesting anyway, because like, that's a whole weird world in itself, really. Yeah. So eclectic. Yeah. Absolutely bizarre, isn't it? A lot of the little coffins. A lot of these around. And that, yeah, I mean, that, that thing there, uh, what are they? I thought they were. I thought they were rat babies. Yeah, are they rats? Though? I don't know. I think they might be mice. Yeah, I'm not sure. they could even be a bigger animal. I don't know. So here we're moving over to these, which is great. This is this is the um, what do you call oh, them? I diorama. Love these. The diorama taxidermies. Yeah. yeah. I I just wanted to take those home. I want to go to this world. 
beautiful day. They're so cool. It all reminds me a little bit of like Coraline or something like that. Yeah. The rats. There was a lot of mole stuff, wasn't there? Like, there was a whole jar yeah, of mole paws. That's why, because they were considered lucky, weren't they? Not, not so much for the mole. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Madame Bonbon. It's all so weird. Yeah, it's really strange actually, because going down the stairs, I was thinking, oh god, it's tiny, and because you kind of shuffle around in, in this kind of yeah, that's, tiny uh... bits, but. Having just watched uh, the Hannibal series <laughs> recently, um, yeah, that was definitely quite freaky, wasn't it? It looks yeah. very realistic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, the things in, in, in glass jars as well. I mean, again, my dad has like a snake in a jar of like vinegar or whatever it is. I remember being freaked out by that. Yeah. So, yeah, it opens out and it is actually surprisingly big. <laughs> what is yeah. tightening stuff? Dare yeah. I ask? A small pack of condoms and the, the opposite. I guess it's how to live with a huge penis. Yeah, the small pack of the other one. Yeah, and a the, bit of um, vagina soap. I mean, that's, 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 that's a thing, isn't it? I think that's right. Absolutely bizarre. Um, yeah, an, another, another wang in, in behind those sort of dark, those angel skeletons or whatever they are. Absolutely strange is the word, but um, fascinating. So here's the hand of glory. So you might remember it from the Wicker Man, which is. Uh, Absolutely amazing. Next, a small pack of condoms again. And the spoon with the eye, which is also a weird Wicker Man esque type thing again. And there's some famous stuff in here we'll get to in a bit as well. I know there's Elvis Presley's hair in that tin down there. There's quite a lot of biscuit things as well. Yeah, there's David Bowie's biscuit crumbs, which I think are coming up in a minute. And there are some condoms, I think, that belong to the Rolling Stones as well. Like, this is a weird eclectic bunch of stuff, isn't it? But you know, blink and you'll miss a lot of important stuff. That's the thing, really. Um, but yeah, the creature from the Black Lagoon's head on a, on a plaque is just the stuff of my dreams, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely, and the popcorn is cool as well. I've seen stuff like that before, but I can't remember where. Maybe in a dream. So you're entering oh, the, uh, the mold Yeah. There's mold because there's a, there's a jar as well. Yeah, there you yeah, go, Dinner yeah. Berry's Biscuit Crumbs, and uh, I don't know if it was, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, David Attenborough's as well. So oh, really? Uh, yeah, I, t- I took a couple Fantastic. of pictures, because it's like, what's yeah. the obsession with Biscuit Crumbs? I, I guess you could just collect Biscuit Crumbs of the famous. Mm. I don't know. I mean, why not? There was also uh, a used uh, towel from, like, feminine hygiene towel. Right, Madonna. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really fancy taking a photo of that. This is obviously House of a Thousand Corpses again, isn't it? Mm-hmm. If, if you know the scene, then you know what I mean, right? Mate! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you find it in Captain Spaulding's um, <laughs> fried chicken weird museum. This is it. The whole thing gave me those vibes completely anyway. Yeah. Those are the vibes I really took. I wouldn't know. be touching the chicken. Some of the best fried chicken in the world comes from some of the dirtiest, weirdest places. It's I don't a known think they made out of chicken. It's a known fact. Oh, either way. <laughs> then the steps, that's how you get down there. You get on these spirally steps and um, enter this uh, bizarre world of uh, strangeness. This way. Any words for that? Any words to explain what just happened there? <laughs> I don't know if that, that person is ill or if they're yeah. a giraffe. I don't know what's going on with them, to be honest. I think I read somewhere it's like um, an example of, of like some kind of like diseased penis or something like that. Some syphilis or something, you know. Something nasty. It wasn't nasty. just a penis though, was it? It was all over. Was it? Yeah. Really and the books are cool. I mean, you know. I own a 70s copy of The Joy of Sex, which is an amazing book anyway, but... Is that the copy? I love that. No, no, that's the Kama Sutra. Um, I mean, that belongs in here, right? Definitely, <laughs> if anything does. And yeah, more more cool stuff in, in glass tanks. I mean, yeah, it was me granny had a load of um, skeleton-like staff, like, um, not starfish, um, seahorses and things like that. So yeah, it reminds me of that a little bit. I'm not sure who that is in the picture, but... Looks like Max Headroom, but... Could well be, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I like that. Yeah, that I, that tickled me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, the book's just the book's just something else, really. You, know, you read the titles and you go, oh, okay, I didn't read that way. <laughs> yeah, it's not a second glance. Um, the puffer fish, it's, that's cool, isn't it? It's one of the first things I noticed, I noticed really. Relics of extinct birds. So I believe here we have um, the bones of a dodo, I think, which, is, which really is quite a cool thing. Which I think it might be the bones next to the... Uh, which I believe is probably an ostrich egg or an emu egg. Because also, again, my granny had a whole bunch of them in her house, just for some unknown reason. Just a oh, weird there's thing the mole to keep. Paws. There's the mole paws, yeah. Well, do you know what? Strange. It's one of those things where I'd want to take the lid off and sniff and then regret you, it. You, less, <laughs> less, it less, less, you have to smell everything, isn't it? Yeah, I am one of those people. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. It's a really cool little sort of piece of clay art. I don't know like why, but I had a little operation going on. I mean, if you saw it in a charity shop, you'd definitely grab it, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I would anyway. So I pick up things like that all the time, really. Um, again, I mean, just bizarreness, isn't it? But fantastic. It's all terrified looking dried fish. <laughs> they look like they're screaming. They do. Um, there we go. Perfect. Put that on your shelf, invite your grandmother around. To, she, she'll see it, but she won't comment on it. She'll, she'll pretend it never happened. There you go, that's cool. Um, happy uh, holidays from John Waters. Uh, John Waters, you know, Pink Flamingos, we're talking here, and Female Trouble, all those kind of films. Per perfectly fits in. Another dentist painting as well, that's, that's superb. I definitely have that on the, uh, on the shelf. There's uh, Anya in the goat room, looking very at home. Little devil. Um, that's cool. Okay, what is that? A gill hand or something? Yeah, that's weird. Called Smurf. There's always a cool Smurfs around. Um, a giant tick, or whatever the hell that is. Woodlouse? Woodlouse, uh, probably a flea, I don't know. Go upstairs, there's even more stuff upstairs. You know, there's, there's all those uh, heads. I hear that this place is insured for uh, £1 million, I believe, which makes sense. Because, I mean, the animal heads alone are quite expensive things if you ever try and buy one. I've tried to buy these before at car boot sales and they always ask about 200 quid, even at the low end price, you know. I suspect a lot of them you couldn't because they're probably yeah. rare. It's probably illegal to own yeah, some of them, yeah. isn't it? If you don't declare in them danger. as a museum. That's, that's, yeah. that's cool again, it's like another sort of head, corpse head in the bar. So we went to the bar and we got oh, the, the, the drink. delicious cocktail. That's the drink we got, that's why. And so it was yeah. delicious, absinthe, uh, slushy, really. And there we are, looking very um, intense, yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. There's nice family pictures of us in the bar enjoying the uh, cocktails and uh, sat outside. So um, that's what you find when you come along. There's the cool sign as well, we'll talk about it in a bit maybe. And this, welcome to the inside of my mind. This video really is that, isn't it? Mm. In some level. So there we go. Um, yeah, yeah, just a, uh, a cool, very interesting place. So there we go. That was the uh, the Victor Wind Museum of uh, Curiosities and um, Unnatural History, which is interesting because we went to the Natural History Museum last time, <laughs> and um, I prefer this one to be honest. This is far. I feel far more at home. I mean, it's a bit like our house, really, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and oh, I, I wish I could take fun. everything back with me because um, it all look, looks so good on our mantelpiece or it's a lot less dusty room. than our house. Which it is, is less dusty. Crazy. Yeah. But I want those. Um, I want those novelty, weird comdoms and books, and the um, the colouring book, which is uh, also <laughs> yeah. very interesting. That would go nicely mm. next to my serial killer colouring book, which I also made a video about a while back. So you can go and watch that if you want to. Um, but uh, yeah, really interesting stuff. I didn't think I was going to see what I saw, man. I'm going to have nightmares and weird visions for weeks on this because um, it's bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. Very. Uh, I love the little diorama thing. They're really cool. I mean, that's taxidermy done right, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Of course. Very, very odd. Very weird. Some stuff really stuck out. Um, one, one of the things being the uh, the Wicker Man hand when 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 um, they tried to put uh, Edward Woodward. Try saying that again. Edward Woodward to sleep. They uh, they they light the candle, the hand candle or handle. Oh, you might hand call of it. glory. Um, yeah, yeah. And they got one of them in there. I, I, I thought I'd never see one of them in real life. Like what a weird, what a weird thing. I didn't even know they they fully existed. But there oh, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they have a few things to buy. Sadly, the t-shirts were too small. But I would have loved to take home one of their t-shirts. We took a couple of badges home. Yeah. They're selling the um those frog bags. They're like frog purses. Cane toads. I mean, I want one of them. But um, I'm I don't know. I, I, I could see with a purse. 
Yeah, I, just daintily carrying it around, little frog, nice. Um, but anyway, yeah, so um, we're going to go and uh, explore something else now. So um, tune in to our next video where we talk about something else and do other things. <laughs>